soon. First, though, a brilliant singer who, if George Michael had a chat show, would always be top of his wish list. That's right, you got to have faith for faith to date. <laughs> be there! Yes! It's the fantastic, the wonderful Paloma Faye! <laughs> I feel like if I lift that up, there should be a toilet roll underneath. <laughs> I just thought I didn't have enough personality, so I might wear a big frock and then we can talk about that for the whole Yeah, let's just interview. do that. Yeah. What do you think? So what is up there? <laughs> Nothing you'd be interested in. <laughs> Right, let's get some... What do you fancy? Um, what is I've there? got red stag. I've got... What's that? Sake. Is that oh, sake? yeah, I'll have some of that. Do you like sake? I love yeah, it. Yeah, sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Oh, really? Yeah, it's oh, my, my favourite drink. Oh, my God. Because usually there's a load of shit in there and I can't even give it to you. <laughs> it is posh. Is it sake posh? Yeah. yeah. It's really posh. I have it every day, yeah. <laughs> it's imported from Japan. Oh, it is. Thank That's you. Ill. Well, don't have all of it, then, if it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I've but got I've got, got Paloma Faith on my show. You can have as much sake as you bloody Thank wants. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I love your jacket. It's not... Well, Frank Skinner made out something about giving him hay fever. <laughs> I love that. It's nice, isn't it? Tropical. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what? This is so weird. Last weekend, I got booked to do a stand-up routine did it at a corporate event in mm. Oman. And guess who was doing the music? Paloma Faith. We were no man together for a mini break. Yeah, we were. No. When it up though, 40 degrees. It was baking. You woke up and I was like, oh my God, what a lovely view. I can't actually breathe. <laughs> it was like I had narcolepsy. Did you see how many times was I asleep? I thought, like, <laughs> well, it thought it We did you... have all these plans of like hanging out and going out, but you were just like. I know, I know, it was exhausted. <laughs> you kept to... saying, we'll have a laugh, we'll have a laugh. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get the opportunity. No, I was down on a sun lounger. <laughs> I, I got my teeth caught between the slats. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> And you're singing <laughs> Only Love Can Hurt Like This, which you sang at the event. Yes. Now, is it true that Diane Warren wrote it? I mean, she's brilliant. Isn't she's she? amazing. If you don't know who she is, then you've got to Google her because she's written songs for, like, Tony Braxton, Cher, Cher Whitney Houston. Everyone. Like, everyone. massive. Celine Dion. I was like, do you want me to tell you the story? That's what we do on chat shows. Well, is it boring? No, it's funny. I will tell you. Am I allowed to swear? Because she swears a lot. Oh, you can say fuck on this and everything. What about this? <laughs> Her favourite word was the C word. Oh, no, it's not like that. We're no, not no, no, no. <laughs> We're reclaiming it, girls. <laughs> Well, don't you, don't you I won't use that word. Okay. I'll just be. Well, tuppence. Yeah. She called and she says, I've written this song to my management. Right. They said to me, right, Diane Warren wants to meet you in LA. I was like, why does she want to meet me? How does she even know that I exist? Oh, anyway, shut up, turned up <laughs> to the meeting and I was expecting this kind of person that I had to be on my best behaviour because she's like music royalty. Mm. And she's sitting there sort of like, and she's like, Let's just substitute the worst word in the English language for tuppence, as yes. you suggested. And yes. she says, hey, tuppence. <laughs> She's like, I, I wrote a song for you, you're going to sing it? I was like, well, I don't really sing songs written by other people, so probably not. I yeah. usually write my own. She's like, nobody says no to me. I'm <laughs> Diane Warren. Do you know what I wrote? I've been this, this, this. This is what she's like. She's like, Absolutely like my favourite person now. <laughs> <laughs> so I left it and I was like, it's really nice to meet you. Yeah. Like, I'm honoured, you've written some amazing songs. Off yeah. I went. About nine months passed. It's Boxing Day last Christmas. I get a phone call. Hey, Tuppence! <laughs> <laughs> On Boxing Day, <laughs> it's Diane! <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought about that song yet? <laughs> I'm like... 
Yeah, um, no, <laughs> I haven't even heard the song. <laughs> when am I going to agree yeah. to sing something? I'm like, goes, OK, I'm going to play it to you. She hasn't got... She's not pitch perfect. No. Well, she can't even talk so in she, tune by the she, sound of it. She plays it over the phone to me and she's singing it. Only love can hurt like this. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I melted. I know yeah. it doesn't sound that great with that voice, but I honestly thought to myself, you can call me what you want, babe. This is the best song I've ever yeah, heard. Yeah, it's a beautiful song, so, yeah. as a thank you to her, I've bought her a necklace with her favourite word written on it. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, your album's called A Perfect Contradiction. Yes. Wagwan with the cover. <laughs> it's, um, what is that? I've been working out a bit and I just wanted to <laughs> show it. <laughs> <laughs> It's based on a Caravaggio painting. The Entombment of Christ. Oh, and you know that reference? Yes, I do. Wonderful Thank you. researchers on Chatty Man. You lo <laughs> I love the Counter Reformation style that dominated Italian painting between the 1540s <laughs> and the 1560s. Yes. That's the only C word I use, Caravaggio. That is. <laughs> yes, so... Oh, look, so that's what you looked at that and you went, that would make a great album cover. Yeah, I thought that's, that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone's saying you're going to break America with this album. How much of a toss do you give about breaking it? <laughs> about breaking America? Because some people don't give a shit, do they? go, oh, I'm happy here in Europe and Oman. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm glad to hear it, if put it that way. Yeah, if yeah. people think... But I, I'm, you know, I'm really lucky because I feel like I'm homegrown and everyone here from Album One's really supported me and that's why I'm sat here now, so... I'll never, like, move out there. I'm no. a proper Londoner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, things are going great at the moment, but your mum is still worried about your music career. Oh, yeah, my you? mum's very concerned. Tell her what she said about if it all went tits up. Well, she said that if this album doesn't do as well, that I should rent a room out in my house and get a lodger. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how Elton met David first. <laughs> <laughs> but she also thinks I should do a PGCE and learn to be, like, a primary school teacher. No She's way. always like, you're so good with kids! <laughs> <laughs> good backup! <laughs> Ridiculous! Yeah, she still thinks that it's, like, too much... For too much. Yeah. Does your mum do that to you? My mum's always like, oh, she always worries it's all going to end and stuff. And Even then, though uh, you've got 12 series. I know, and I rang up and I went, oh, mum, mum, I've won a BAFTA. She went, oh, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> That's what my mum says to me. She goes, she actually says when I come on these yeah. shows, oh, you and him together, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a catastrophe. <laughs> you'll get into trouble, you'll say something offensive, and then all my friends will call me up and tell me about it. I'm not watching. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you about the job that I've read about in the paper? Yeah. You on the panel of X Factor. Ooh. Is there is there any truth in this? Can you confirm or deny these rumours? People say things, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Over a glass of sake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't like. <laughs> no. Have you been approached? Have you been? <laughs> Some more truth serum. I've got to do the song later. All oh, right. I've got to hit those high notes. <laughs> no, but it's nice for them to put your name forward for it. Yeah, well, I don't know if it has been put forward. It's all speculation. <laughs> do you know what? Would you, would, honest, you like, would you like to do it? To be honest, I don't feel that confident. Who, who am I to say who's, like, a good singer? I've never had a singing lesson, and as... I think everyone will vouch for. I think I've been learning as I go along. Like, listen to my voice first album and now, it's like I've learnt how to sing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you agree with me, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, like, I don't feel that I'm confident enough to kind of go, oh, well, that could have... That trill could have been a bit better, cos yeah, I can't yeah. do that. But then think of all the free music advice you'd get from Louis Walsh. <laughs> You can't put a price on that, Paloma. I know, you're right. Maybe it would have been a great learning curve for me. You never know. 
Now listen. Wait there. I've got to give you something. Where is it? Props! <laughs> no, do you remember when you came round my house? Oh, that's my pot. Yes. <laughs> Frank, she made this lamb dish, yeah, and I was there. Do you remember with Adele? And you <laughs> I gave... gave them all food poisoning. <laughs> Myself and say it in front of the great British public that I really like Alan, I really like Adele, and I didn't mean to do that. And I did buy the meat from a really good supermarket, which I won't name right now, but I'd love to sue. Because <laughs> I haven't heard from either of them since. In fact, yeah. this is the first time yeah. he's even spoken to me properly. You, you, <laughs> yeah. you nearly killed Adele's dog at the <laughs> shit. <ships. laughs> <laughs> over me rug. What was she doing feeding lamb kebabs to the dog anyway? Don't sidestep, love. <laughs> You're shitty cooking that nearly killed everyone. I'm sorry. Anyway, well, it, it, I was going to say it was delicious. It wasn't. But um, <laughs> you've got your pot back. Keep away from my kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with the album, my awesome. love, and you're performing later for us. How fantastic would that be? <laughs> <laughs> right, Heston Blue was out and Cardinal Burns will be out. See you in part three.